To pair Fitbit Versa 3 to your smartphone, you will need to download Fitbit app on your smartphone. Once installed, open the app. Here you will need to log in to your account. If you don't have a Fitbit account, then you would need to create one to connect to your Versa 3. After logging in, you will be brought to the app's home screen. Tap on the profile icon on the left corner of the screen. Here you will be presented with plenty of options. Click on the setup device option. On the next screen, select the relevant Fitbit device. In this particular case, I am connecting my phone with Versa 3, so I will select that. A page asking you to accept the privacy policy will appear. Tap on I accept option to continue. Now the app will ask you to connect your Fitbit Versa's 3 chargers to your Fitbit. But it's not necessary to connect the charger. Next, grant the location access to your Fitbit Versa 3. Now the Fitbit app will start looking for your Fitbit Versa 3. As soon as the app will find your watch, it will send a pairing request. A code on your watch screen will be displayed. Enter it in the app. After a successful pairing process, a pop-up asking you to pair your watch to your phone should appear. On the next screen, you will be asked to connect your Versa 3 to your Wi-Fi network. You can also skip this if you want. This isn't mandatory for connecting your watch. However, if you do connect your Fitbit Versa 3 to Wi-Fi, it will look for updates. If there are any new updates, then the watch will first get updated. As you can see, my Fitbit Versa 3 will now look for updates available for the device. And it will automatically start downloading the update. The updates on Fitbit Versa 3 take a really long time. So I would recommend doing something else while the watch gets updated. After the watch is updated, it will reboot and you will be able to connect and use your Fitbit Versa 3 watch. Let's now discuss how to use Fitbit Versa 3. Swiping from left to right will bring access to quick settings. Swiping from below to up will show you widgets. Swiping from right to left will give you access to the app drawer. Swiping from up to down will give you access to notification center. One more thing, this button is not touch sensitive, so you would actually need to press it like a real button. By pressing it, you can turn on the always on display or turn it off. Pressing it twice in succession will give you access to quick shortcuts. This also acts as the back button and pressing it will exit any app that you are running. Now I would like to share some settings that you should know or enable as soon as you boot the watch. Once the watch is running, I would recommend going to the settings, display and adjusting the brightness level you are more comfortable with. You can also disable the wake to read time gesture which makes the screen light up only when you press the button. So if you want to enable it, just select the buttons only mode. Select the motion and button only mode to keep the gesture as well as button mode enabled. By the way, you can also toggle on and off these settings using the quick control panel. You can also adjust the screen timeout in the display settings. So select the display timeout settings that you find to be more valuable. Here you can also toggle always on display off or on. You also get the ability to switch between digital and analog always on display style. Another useful option that I would like to talk about is quiet modes. First one is the focus mode. When enabled, the watch won't show you notifications during workout sessions. You can also enable DND &D so you won't get any notifications or alerts if you are busy in a meeting. There is also a built-in sleep mode that you can schedule or even turn on manually when required. Enabling it will turn off the unnecessary screen light and notifications alerts while sleeping. Moving on to the touch sensitive button on Versa 3. You can also customize the hold and double tap button gesture. To do that, go to shortcut settings. Here you can select which app you want to get open when you hold the button. By default, it is set to Fitbit Pay, but you can set it to open any other app. Double tapping the button opens 4 app shortcuts. You can customize which 4 shortcuts you get to see here using the double press option. So guys, these were the settings that I think you as a new Fitbit Versa 3 owners should know. Hopefully you found this video useful and if you did, then press that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as I will be coming up with my Fitbit Versa 3 review video very soon. Hopefully, I will see you there next time.